We just decided that we ought to make sure that um, uh, what we were being told by our suppliers, um, and we received a, a range of assurances from them, was actually correct and true. Um, and so we initiated our own tests, we undertook our own tests, removed our own samples, um, and very unfortunately, when they came back, uh, they did show that, reveal the, the trace of pork in the halal chicken sausages. So you had been reassured by your suppliers that there were no traces of horse meat or of, or of pork products in what you were serving? We had been, absolutely, and because uh, obviously uh, we started out with a concern just to make sure there wasn't horse meat in it, it being supplied in any of our school meals, so we were extremely surprised to, to find the contamination with pork in the halal sausages. Just to clarify though, for other schools in the area, yeah. well right across Westminster Council, um, will they not yeah. be having meat in school meals for the foreseeable future, or are you checking each school individually, uh, or how, how will it work? No. What what, what we're doing is we are um, just temporarily we stop the use of all meats. Actually, I have to say that we tested a whole range of meat, uh, meats that we were using, uh, and uh, the majority of the samples came back clear. Um, and so, um, and obviously, the kind of suspicion lies with meats like sausages and mints, basically. Um, and so, we think it likely that we'll go back to the suppliers and say, well, we, we aren't prepared to accept supplies of those for the time being, but we'll accept supplies of, of other meats. And the other thing we'll do to reassure parents is we'll put in place, we'll continue to undertake our own testing. Um, and can I just take this opportunity of saying if there are any parents that are uh, very concerned and want more information from Tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, um, we've got a helpline, uh, an advice line open, and the number is 0207 745 6401, and parents can also find additional information on the Westminster City website.